you might want to think twice before getting a new device. Here's why. You might be contributing to the world's largest domestic waste problem. So the vast majority of Americans, 97%, have a cell phone of some kind, and it's taken a lot of resources to make all of those devices. Not only that, but 80% of a phone's carbon footprint comes during manufacturing. According to a UC Berkeley study, the energy needed to produce a phone could charge it for 73 years. It contains dozens of precious minerals, things like cobalt, silver, gold, for just one phone. 15 pounds of high-grade gold ore needs to be mined. You've probably heard a lot about cobalt recently. It's the essential mineral in your phone's rechargeable battery. Almost 70% of the world's cobalt comes from the Democratic Republic of Congo, where children often work besides adults in so-called artisanal mines. Exposure to cobalt can cause respiratory diseases and skin issues for workers who handle it. Now, while some companies like Apple say they no longer source from those mines, others still do. Still thinking about replacing your slightly old phone? So if this ends up in the trash in a developed country, there's a good chance that it will be shipped illegally to a developing country where informal workers, again, often including children, says the UN, pick apart devices to secure their valuable metals, exposing them to toxins like lead and mercury, which seep from devices and poison soil and water supplies. The UN predicts that 74 million tons of electronic waste, also known as e-waste, will be produced by 2030. The amount of e-waste produced in 2019 was worth $57 billion in raw materials. So how about this? If your phone is damaged, why not take it for repairs instead of just buying a new one? Or buy a refurbished phone. You'd be extending the life of an existing device instead of buying a new one and creating all the waste that comes with that. You could also recycle it. For every 1 million phones recycled, that's 800 pounds of silver and 53 pounds of gold that can be recovered. Make sure though to give it to an organization that recycles the right way. And if none of this appeals to you, you could also sell it or donate it to a charity. 